Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Yeah, the old clock says it's five o'clock. Beer 30. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Review today. Looky here, a treehouse beer. Imagine that. All right, guys, today's beer is snow. Guys, this is one of my favorites. Uh, I've had this beer a couple of times, reviewed it a couple of times, uh, uh, and it was for a wheat beer, it is pretty damn awesome. So, uh, and they've been doing this one for, for quite a while now, guys. It, it has tons and tons of ratings and it's still up in the a upper A's uh, in the category so uh, if you get a chance to get up to Massachusetts to Treehouse hopefully I will be able to do that for long I, I would really love to do that uh, there are so many great breweries up in New England uh, so alright guys uh, this is a basically, like I said, it's a wheat beer, double IPA, but it's only 7.8. It's not a huge double IPA. It's just barely into the double IPAs. Uh, says here, a boatload of Northwest American hops utilizing Citra, Centennial, Sabro, and large amounts of both kettle and dry hop, coupled with malted white wheat in the mash, we are able to create a wonderful and singular member of the Treehouse Hoppy Beer family. You should note the tropical fruit, citrus, mango, lemon, lime, and a hint of coconut. Coconut. Put the lime in the coconut. And Gracie palate before a wheaty, slightly doughy body provides heft and balance. Snow is unique in many ways, but also carries grace, elegance, and balance of the more familiar entree entrees in the treehouse lineup. We love the spirit. Thank you, Will, too. I do. Yeah, yeah, I do. Uh, underneath the bottom, it was put in the can 2-24-23, February 24th, 2023. All right, guys. Uh, I... Like I said, done this beer several different times. I uh, pretty much know what to expect. Uh, let me go ahead and act there. And the good part about this beer, I have three of them. Three, three, three. All right, guys. Pop it open. Get it in the glass. See if it's just as tasty this year as it was the last time I had it. I think I had it last year. Yeah, I want to make sure I get all that stuff up in here. I'm dripping on my paper. Oh, all the ink will be running off. <laughs> Two fingers of head on that one, guys. That's an awesome looking beer there. Wheat beer and super cloudy, super hazy. Mm -mm -mm. My mouth's watering because I know what's in this glass. Mm -hmm. To the nose we go. Oh man, super citrusy, oranges, mango, grapefruit, peaches. Man, this got it going on. There's a whole lot of aromas in that glass. Well, wow. time to dive in. Cheers. Absolutely fantastic. That is that has the perfect mouthfeel for a, a 7.8. And then it's so smooth and light. Man, you don't even know you're drinking beer. It's like a fruit drink. But it ain't fruity. Outstanding. This is, this is this is just as tasty. I've had it at least three times now for sure. And it's 
it blows my hair back every time I have it. So it's it's su it's super tasty to me. I like that wheat nuance. A little bit of the doughiness. To, I don't want to say crackery, but that wheat it. It, it definitely lightens it up just a little bit, so I like that. So very tasty. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Been sitting on it over an hour. It's up the room temperature. Well, I've been outside on the deck, so it's probably 70 degrees anyway. So my palate is especially fond of the wheat in this beer. I think it makes it really smooth and easy drinking. Uh, I don't usually get wheat in the in the uh, IPAs, and when they do that, they usually tell you that it has wheat in it. So I like that. It's a definitely a nice change up for me. I don't joke. Make sure you swirl that up because there was just a little bit of sediment in the bottom. So tasty. I would buy this beer every day, all day, guys. I mean, it's 7.8%. Drinks like a 6 percenter. I mean, super smooth, super easy, real pleasant. A lot of hop aroma and the taste. It's a 10, again. Imagine that. Yeah, and I got two more, like I said, to have at my leisure. So, very nice. Had to put up with some of the other ones earlier on. Now we're, we've got all the miscellaneous beers, the table beers and the common beers, the pale ales. Uh, so we're, we're starting in, I've got two IPAs and all the rest of them are double IPAs that I have. So I have more double IPAs because that's, that's my favorite. That is absolutely my favorite beer, especially if I'm having it here at the house. Single IPAs and double IPAs are my usual two go-to beers. So anyway, uh, the 2023 edition of Snow. If you had the 2023, let me know what you think. Uh, like I said, I've had it at least three times. If I can get the mouse to work, uh, and it's been exceptional every time. So, uh, very nicely done. Absolute 10. Again, all right. I got Bear Advocate. Let's see what they say. 96, world class. Definitely world class bear to me for my palate. So, uh, and over at Untapped, they have it at 4.25, uh, a number from them guys. So, uh, and over 26,000 comments or reviews on this beer over there. So they've been doing this a long, long time. Uh, and it is just as tasty, like I said. I think the first time I had it was like four or five years ago. I mean, so, uh, and it absolutely blew my palate out of my mouth at that time. I think I had very many beers that were that exceptional at that time. So uh, still just as tasty. I <laughs> love it. Uh, let me know if you've had it, guys. It's definitely an A beer, and it's an acceptable beer to me. I like the wheat influence on this beer. So, if you've had it, let me know. Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.